Hey, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakab, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> it's GMS Arkansas, GMS stopping with, listen, coming with a short lesson. Um, we know um, through prophecies that we are um, at this time, a crucial time, um, where repentance is. Uh, is a must before it's too late because Yahweh Shai is coming back with this innumerable amount of angels to do damage. So you want to be on the right side. Okay. This is like, like, uh, when you have a big fight, right? If you, if you got to get in and you want to pick the side who you think going to win, that's where we at right now because the scriptures are already it's already told us that Yahweh Shah is going to get the victory. Okay. So you just got to hope that you were picked to be on that side, that the right side of the victor. Okay. Because the Lord Yahweh Shah is getting ready to come back with basically what you call a measuring line. Okay. All right. He's the man with the measuring line, so to speak. Okay. And when you go into like measuring line, um, I'm going to get started the book of Zechariah, the second chapter. And it says, I lift up my eyes, and again I look, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Okay, go into the word measure, mada, measuring line, stature, size, garment, measure, act of measurement, portion, extent. Okay, the height, breadth, hence the portion, tribute as measured. Okay, and let's go into the origin, that word, mad, measure, clothes, garment, portion, extent, that is height, also a measure by implication, a vester. Okay, now you know the scriptures say a vesture dipped in what? In blood. Also a carpet, armor, clothes, garment, judgment. See, that's the word right there. Judgment, that is the word. Okay, figurative. This word, measure, because we know it's, the, uh, it's, it's basically like a building line. Okay, or somewhere like a uh, to measure height or breadth, but... In these particular scriptures, the Lord, he's that man with that measuring line, which is the judgment, okay? Here it says, I lift up my eyes again and look, and behold, a man with the measuring line in his hand, right? And hand represents what? Power, right? The power to bring judgment, okay? The power to bring judgment. Now, let me show you. Let me go back. And get some edification on measuring line. Let's go back to uh, Second Kings twenty-one thirteen. Okay, twenty-one and thirteen. It says, "I will stretch over Jerusalem the line of Samaria and the plummet of the house of Ahab, and I will wipe Jerusalem as a man wipeth a dish." Wiping it and turning it upside down. Okay. So a measuring line is just, he was talking about destroying uh, 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 the nation of Israel. Now Isaiah 28. 28, I think 17 says this. Judgment also will I lay to the line in Righteousness to plummet, and the tail shall sweep away the uh, refuge refuge of lies, and waters shall overflow the hiding place. So the knowledge is going to come back after the Lord destroys this place. He's going to bring in righteousness and, and, and uh, a wave of knowledge, man. Right? So when you go into a measuring line, it goes into a judgment and a destruction. Okay. Now let me go back to where I was at. Let 
if I may. Back to Zechariah. So that measuring line is, is judgment, okay? Just remember that. Verse 2. Then said I, whither thou goest thou? And he said unto me, to measure Jerusalem. Okay? And to see what it is, is the breadth and thereof and what is the length thereof. Okay. So how did how did when you the 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 uh the what is the measuring line? The man who has the measure is Jehovah Shah, but the measuring line of what? The scriptures. Okay. And he and he and he's testing, he says, I'm Whether I go us to see it, and I will measure Jerusalem, man, with these scriptures. Because that's why the Lord said one third gonna get it. You have an election and you have two thirds that are not gonna get it. But they're gonna suffer judgment. Okay? That's why you gotta hope that you're on the right side of this battle. That you've been picked to be on the right side of the battle, so to speak. Verse 3. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him. Okay? So they offered up service to Yahweh Shai. Okay, the angel offered up service. And it says, and said unto him, Run, speak to his young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls. For the multitude of men and cattle therein. Okay. The men are the Jews, and the cattle are who? The Gentiles. Okay. All right. For 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 I said, the Lord Yahweh will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and be the glory in the midst of her. So, hey, this is dealing with the elect. He's gonna be the glory of the elect in the midst of, of all this turmoil. Okay. Verse six. Ho, ho, come forth. And flee from the land of the north, which is what America said the Lord Yahweh. It tells you uh in uh Revelations uh eleven and twelve it says come come let me get that. It says ho ho come flee from the land of the north, meaning America. And I'm gonna read you Revelations eleven, and I think twelve. And it says, and I heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended to the heaven and the and a cloud and their enemies beheld them. Okay. Beheld. Therio. To be a spectacle to look at, to veer attentively. Okay. In amazement, basically. You're going to be in amazement. Okay. Discern figurative spect spect spectator. So you're gonna be amazed at the strangers of our salvation, pursuing the wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Okay. So it says, Ho ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north. And how are we gonna flee? Through these chariots, man. This is the way we're gonna we're gonna flee from America if we are part of that number. If we're on that right side of the battle. While the destruction is going on, all right, and prior to the, these these thermonuclear missiles uh, uh, evaporating and pulverizing America, man, this is how you're gonna this is how you're gonna come forth and flee from the land. There's no other way you're gonna be able to escape, right? Because 200 million missiles are coming towards this place, man, and this is the only way you're gonna be able to escape, man. Okay, it says. Um, it says, Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, said the Lord Yahweh, for I will spread you abroad as the four winds of the heaven, said the Lord. He said, He will spread you abroad, man. Okay? Paras. Spread out, stretch, break in pieces, spread out, display, to scatter. And did not he scatter us on the four corners of the globe? And the Lord said he's gonna come and basically uh basically gather us as well from them from the from them four corners where he scattered us. Okay. 
verse 7. It says, Deliver thyself, O Zion, thou dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. That's America, the daughter of Babylon, okay? Babylon, Babal, that means confusion. And America is that place of great confusion, man. Homosexuality, bestiality, men changing themselves to uh, being transgender to transsexual, and vice versa to women. Okay, you have you have chemicals falling from the sky, chemicals in the food, in the water. It's just a land of confusion, unrighteous decrees. Esau splitting genes, splitting spider genes, and mixing them with 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 watermelon seeds. They're doing all kind of stuff, man. This is a place of confusion. How did you deliver yourself from Babylon? First of all, you have to get into the scriptures. You have to repent. This is the way you deliver yourself from Babylon. Okay? This is the way. All right? Verse 8. For thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Okay? Of hosts. Tazaba'a, Tazaba'a, Yahweh Tazaba'a. After the glory have he sent me um, unto the nations which spoil you, okay? For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye, okay? So you touch the Lord's people. You led the Lord's people into captivity, right? You have beaten down the Lord's people, right? You've been uh, uh, unjust to the Lord's people. Now it's time for the, the, the man with the measuring line to come back and get that justice for his people. Because it said in Matthew, the first chapter, he was, save his, he was coming to save his people. Okay? And we know him to come out of the, the line of Judah. He is an Israelite. Yahweh shot a head Israelite. Okay? So you're going to have to be spoiled for touching the apple of his eye, which is Israel. And, Okay, verse nine, for behold, I will shake my hand, okay, against that kingdom, okay, that have done that violence to you, which is which is America. He said, behold, I will shake my hand upon them and they shall be a spoil to their servants. So we are the servants now. So it said you're going to be a spoil to the servants. So y'all going to be a spoil unto us, right? But guess what? We have to this this have to we have to do this before Zephaniah three and eight. It says, Therefore wait ye upon me, said the Lord Yahweh, until the day that I will rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out upon them my indignation. Even my fierce anger, which is thermonuclear destruction, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy, which is the ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay. The whole, it's going to hey, aid. It's, it's a fire of his jealousy. Okay. We got to wait. We got to wait upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. For behold, I will shake my hand upon them. And they shall be a spoil to their servants. Mm -hmm. And ye shall know that the Lord, Lord Yahweh of hosts has sent me. Okay, you're going to know that the Lord Yahweh has sent Yahweh Shai to be that marriage and stick to bring that judgment. Okay, and to bring that destruction. With his innumerable amount of angels, man. Okay, you're going to see it when he come in riding on that white horse. All right. Okay, because you brought violence to the people of his glory, which were the Israelites, all right? Verse 10, sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion. Okay, sing and rejoice, be glad. Okay, O daughter of Zion, you, you, the elect of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because it basically from Lamentations 4, it tells you what our captivity is, is accomplished. For lo, I come, and I will deliver in the midst of thee, said the Lord Yahweh. He going to deliver in the midst of thee. He going to deliver the elect, man. Okay? I will dwell in the midst of thee, Salaki, said the Lord Yahweh. He going he gonna to stay with us, man. Okay? 
he gonna he gonna he gonna basically uh 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 I will come and I will dwell in the midst of thee. So like yeah, say, read that again because he gonna execute that judgment on our adversaries, right? And give us that complete deliverance and salvation. Okay. Verse 11, and it says, and many nations shall be joined to the Lord Yahweh in that day and shall be my people because you got, you got the 12 tribes. There are nations within themselves. The 12 tribes, when you see them, they, they are, they are huge, man. It's a lot of people in each tribe and he's saying they're going to join unto him in that day and it shall be his people. Okay. Hosea, the first chapter, and I will dwell in the midst. We won't be called lower me no more. And I will dwell in the midst of thee, and thou shalt know that the Lord Yahweh of hosts have sent me unto thee. So we're going to know, man, that Yahweh sent Yahweh shy, man, because things are about to get so bad out here. Esau knows he has a short time pursuing the Revelation 12 and 12. And he about to unleash hell, Jacob, time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be a time. It says in Daniel, the 12th chapter, there was never was since it was a nation, man. We're going to be leaving homes. We're going to have to walk and, and turn our back on our homes. Some people might have to turn your back on loved ones. Man, it's going to be rough out here, man. No food. They already uh, uh, starting it out saying it's circulation. The coin circulation is short right now, you know. So they're trying to get, get to the cash society to, to put the heat on to bring in this RFID chip. Okay, so things are about to get rough. We're going to need Yahweh Shai, man, because Esau is the devil. And, and he was given the sword, and he's going to use it. Okay? That's his blessing. He's wicked. He's the border of wickedness, man. You're going to find out how wicked this man can be and how he's going to get in the coming days, man. You're going to need Yahweh Shai, man, to get you out of here, man. Okay? Verse 12. And the Lord Yahweh shall inherit Judah, his portion, in the holy land, and choose Jerusalem again, okay. And he gonna when he when he, when he take us up, he gonna take us back to that holy land, okay. Gonna take us back to the holy land of, of uh, Israel, okay, which was known as Canaan. We're gonna go back to that land. We're gonna and we wanna inherit that portion again, plus inherit slaves to build it up, okay. When you read in uh, Isaiah the sixtieth chapter, all right. <clears throat> so the Lord, he's going to let you know that he never cast us out. This is um, um, verse 13. Let me see here. I'm going to read that again. And the Lord shall inherit Judah his portion, which is his, is his possession, okay? A portion is his treasure, okay? Let me look at that word, portion. <laughs> Kalak, kalak, a portion, a share, a part, one's portion, chosen portion, award from Howard. See, ooh, that's a nice definition right there. So if that's the chosen, we are that peculiar, uh, peculiar people spoken of in uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. Okay. In Exodus 19, 5 and 6, it says, Be silent, O all flesh, before the Lord Yahweh, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. So, hey, the Lord Yahweh didn't come up out of his seat, you know. So let the wicked be consumed before before heaven, before the heavens, man. That's what you, you see. That's what you got going, Okay. You know, they're going to be consumed before the heavens, man. Uh, let me get this scripture here. I think it's Isaiah, I want to say. Isaiah 63, 15. Look down from heaven and behold from the habitations of thy holiness and of thy glory. Where is thy zeal and thy strength, the sounding of thy bowels of thy mercies toward me? Question. And they restrained. So the Lord getting ready to come out. Of, hey, he get ready to, hey, he didn't got up from the throne. When you see this destruction happening, 
He didn't got up. He didn't told you how it shot. Hey, now it's time. Okay. He going he gonna to give him that order to come down here and set his order right. It's all his will. Yahweh Shai always done the will of his father. Even when he was on the earth walking around, he said, thy will will be done on earth as is in heaven. Psalms 104 and 5. Who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever? The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai did. Okay? So he's going to get this order. His foundations have been off tilted with Esau controlling it. So the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. He gave you this power for a certain time. He's getting ready to stand up off this throne and send his son back to get the order back and bring that destruction, which is what that measuring line, okay? That measure line. So that man that that that's that, that has a measuring line is Yahweh Shai, okay? And he's getting ready to bring that judgment. I lift up my eyes and look, behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand, okay? So that's Yahweh Shai come bring and execute this judgment on America and deliver the elect. Hope this lesson was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. I hope it was edifying. It's been GMS Arkansas. Till the next time, I say Shalom.